Hello everyone, I'm Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to talk about how to prepare yourself and your medications for vacation. So I'm starting on vacation, and although I don't take medications per se, I do take a lot of supplements. So I'm going to go through some of the things that you really should do if you're planning a vacation and you take medications, because the last thing that you want to do is end up in a different country and realize that you don't have the medications that you need to survive. Because sometimes it's easy if you're in the United States to just get your prescription transferred from one pharmacy to another. But if you're in a different country, it can be a whole different story. So I'm going to go through some pretty simple things that you can do. And we're going to start out with number one, which is make a list of your medications. You should do this anyway. And I suggest you keep a list of your medications with you at all times. Not just if you're going on vacation, but at all times. And the reason this is important is because if something happens to you and you're found down somewhere, or you get in a car wreck or, you know, something unfortunate happens to you, it's always best if you have a list of medications. So whoever finds you knows what you take, right? That's important. I got my first comment. Hi, Kat. Welcome in. I'm talking about how to prepare to travel with your medications. And number one is make a list of them. Make sure you know what they are. Okay. And number two, before you take off to Europe or wherever you're going, check your expiration dates and make sure that your meds aren't about ready to expire because you don't want to get somewhere and find out that your meds are expired. Right. So it really isn't that hard, but I will tell you a little secret. If you tell your pharmacy to put the actual expiration dates on the bottle, they can put a year on that bottle, but the drug might be good for two or three years. So if you take drugs every day, that doesn't matter, right? Because you're never going to probably end up with drugs that are expired. But hi, Janet. But if you happy birthday, Janet. But if you have PRN meds that you only take as needed, I can tell you now that you probably might need more than a year's expiration on there. So always tell your pharmacy, especially on drugs that you only take as needed, to put the actual expiration date on that. Super important because otherwise you, a year you're going to get something refilled that you might not need to. Okay, number three, pack meds in their original containers. The reason for this is if you get to the airport and you're going through security and you have meds that aren't in their original containers, they may or may not let you take those on the plane with you. And the last thing you want to do is have them take all your meds away from you because you don't have them in original containers. If you have them in your actual pill bottles with your name on it, the doctor's name on it, the directions and all that, they're probably not going to take them away from you. Now, we'll get to something in a little bit here where there are times where, where they might, but for the most part, you're a lot safer if you simply keep your meds in their original containers, and I know that can be difficult. It can be super difficult if you've got 20 different meds you're taking. By the way, if you're taking 20 different meds, I suggest sending me a list of those meds just to make sure that you really need that many because a lot of times you just don't, you just don't, right? Happy birthday to Janet. Okay, number four. This might be one of the most important things that I'm going to tell you in this whole video. Always keep the essential meds on your carry-on. Why? Because the airlines are notorious for losing your luggage. 
And if you're flying to Australia from the United States and you get there and they don't have your med or they don't have your bags, you don't have your meds. So don't pack your medications in your check on luggage if you plan on using them. You can buy clothes, toiletries, stuff like that in Australia, but good luck trying to get your meds refilled in a different country. You're probably going to have a hard time doing that. So I, I'm trying to check the comments as I go, guys, because I don't want to, I don't want to do it. I am live. How come they don't, they're not seeing me? I'm on here. Try going. So I guess Janet can't see me. Hopefully you guys can see me. Kat says she can see me. So maybe it's just her internet. Okay. Number five. This is also important, especially if you're going on a trip out of the country. Bring a copy of your RX or a letter from your doctor. This is basically the same thing as, or for the same reason that it's important for you to keep your meds in the original container because they're a lot less likely to take something away from you if you have a letter from your doctor saying, Pharmacist Michael needs to be on these drugs when he goes on this trip for this condition, right? It's just something to protect yourself. There's a good chance none of this is going to happen to you. I just want you to be protected because once you get to the airport, and by the way, this stuff isn't just for airport. It's also if you're driving someplace, right? You don't want to forget your meds and get to a different town and find out that you don't have them. Although you can get things transferred from one pharmacy to another. But the last thing you want to be wasting your time on vacation doing is trying to get meds transferred from one pharmacy to another. It's just not something most people want to spend their time doing. So it's important to do all these things, bring a copy of an RX or a letter from your MD. And this could also help you if you do need to get prescriptions transferred. Use alarms when changing time zones. If you're on drugs that have a specific reason to be taken at a specific time, and there's a lot of these, um, you might want to set an alarm and let yourself be notified when it's time to take your meds. So if you're taking something that's critical that you get it, that you take it every 12 hours and you're going to a time zone that's three hours different, you know, do you really need to get up in the middle of the night to take it? Probably not. I mean, you could, you could switch by an hour each way, probably per day, but it depends. And this again is something that you can ask me if you're going on a vacation, you can send me a message and I will tell you if it's, you know, critical that you take them exactly 12 hours apart. Some meds are, but most aren't. Some things that I will tell you is thyroid meds, for instance, are, it's important that you take them on an empty stomach. So, you know, you don't want to, because you're three hours different, and you wake up and it's time to eat, you know, take them at that time. Just got a question about this yesterday, believe it or not. But so that's important too. use alarms when changing time zones or anything. Really, there's a lot of apps you can get on your phone that are free. You can set a timer. It's time to take your meds, you know, 12 hours from whenever you leave. That was kind of a long story. Super important. If you're going to a different country, make sure you research med regulations and make sure that whatever you're taking with you is legal there or if they will allow it to be there. You do not want to get in trouble by taking the wrong medications into a country that doesn't allow them. So, you know, a couple of things can happen to you when you do this. You know, there's a possibility that you can make it through 
until you get to the country. But if you get caught with something that you're not supposed to have, depending on the country, bad things can happen, right? Or less than ideal things can happen. You don't want to end up in jail or getting in trouble because you're trying to take a medication that is illegal in the country that you're going to. So number seven is important. Make sure you know what the laws are in the countries that you're going to. Always store your meds in the correct locations. Do not store your medications. And this, this goes for all the time, not just when you're traveling. Store your meds in a cool, dry place. The bathroom medication cabinet is not a good place to store your medications. It's one of the worst. Don't do that. Keep them in a cool, dry place. Don't store them in your car glove box. Make sure that they are someplace that you don't forget them when you leave your destination. And so that's okay, Kat. You got you got to do your job, right? I don't know if Janet ever got back in here or not. Hopefully she can see. Hopefully she's she's able to watch this. Place your refrigerated medications in a travel cooler with ice packs. If you're taking something that must be refrigerated, don't put it in your check-in luggage. Take it on the plane with you and make sure you have ice packs to keep it cool. Because there's medications out there that if you don't keep them cool, they disintegrate. There's a reason that we have storage There's a reason that we have, you know, the storage on the actual bottle. It should tell you keep fridge rate. You should know that anyway, right? That should be part of your list of meds. If you've got stuff that has to be in the fridge, you should know that. There are some antibiotics that we just like to keep refrigerated for kids, especially because they taste better. But there's a lot of things that really do need to be refrigerated or they will disintegrate. So it's important to make sure that they're stored correctly. If you are traveling for extended periods of time, make sure you plan for your refills. If you're going, I mean, this guys, this seems so easy, but I'm telling you, it's so easy when you're going on vacation to forget things. I'm going to tell you, I left the beach yesterday to come here and I checked five times to make sure I had everything that I needed. And I got here and I set everything up this morning. You can see the lights behind me to do a video and I forgot my headphones, which is crazy. I mean, luckily I have another pair that I can use, but these aren't the ones I normally use when I am mixing. So the same thing can happen with your meds. Make sure you have them and make sure you have enough to make it through the entire stay. Okay. Of wherever you're going. Let me check the comments again. We've got some Hi, Twinkie. You went on, let, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys some of these. So <laughs> you got pulled over and they made you jump. Okay. Now we talked about this earlier, right? So this is the problem. This is the problem. This is why you keep your meds in the original containers. You get pulled over. The officer looks at your stuff and they're like, what's this? How do they know you have a prescription for it if it's in a pill minder, right? I am all about pill minders when you're at home. But if you are going to put all of your drugs in a pill minder, you better have something that tells people what they are and why you are taking them, right? That That's just crazy. Yes, you can. You can travel. So Janet's asking a good question here. Can you travel with refrigerated product on a plane flight that's three to five hours? You can if you have ice packs in a cooler because, you know, I, I put stuff in ice packs, you know, my lunch, for instance, it's still cold the next day. So if you have the correct ice packs, you can do that. Absolutely. Okay, back to my... Back to my trying to go between comments sometimes can be difficult here, but we're going to get it. So plan for refills. Don't run out of your drugs. Make sure 
that you have enough meds on you to make it through the entire trip. Most insurance companies will give you a, if you're going to be gone for three months, most insurance companies will give you a waiver and they will allow you to do this. They won't allow you to do it all the time, but usually they'll allow you to do it. So make sure you plan ahead. Don't wait until the day before your vacation and say, oh no, I only have 10 days worth of meds. I'm going to call my pharmacy. Don't do that. Make sure you plan ahead. Give your pharmacy time to get the waiver from the insurance company. Make sure they have enough of your drugs in stock to fill it. And just make sure you plan ahead. It's very important for some medications that you keep taking them, right? You do not want to be without your meds. I'm getting towards the end and then I'll take more questions from you guys. This is the last thing. If you have any questions, you should do this anyway. But if you have any questions at all about traveling to a different country anywhere for any period of time, be sure to ask your healthcare team. There are also some countries where you need vaccinations before you go to, right? There are some places that you need malaria vaccines or it's a good idea. You don't have to take them, but you don't want to get malaria someplace. So make sure you do enough research to where you protect yourself when you go on vacation. And those are 11 tips. I'm going to go to the comments now and I'm going to take questions. If you guys have any questions at all that, and it doesn't even have to be a tr about traveling with medications. You guys can ask me anything and I will certainly answer them. My sister has been visiting from Oregon and Oregon Healthcare has not been cooperative at all. And and I I know that this has been an issue and I I find it very interesting that they won't cover to me, it seems like the Oregon health plan would let you fill prescriptions in a different state and still pay for them. And they may not, because I haven't, I haven't went over this, but but I I just find that very strange that because what if she was going to Europe? I mean, you, you can't just tell somebody you can't go on vacation because you are using our health plan. That doesn't make any sense. That's not fair. So I, I'm not sure exactly why that happened to her, but they will not do anything. Yeah. And, and this is some, I, I think if this were me, I would probably send a, a letter to the governor and I would say, you know, I am a well-bodied person who has your healthcare plan and I am running into problems. I'm just down in California taking care of one of my family members and I need to be here and you guys won't allow me to be healthy while I'm doing it, which may end up costing you more money in the future, right? Because if something happens to her when she's down there because she can't get her meds, she gets hospitalized, somebody's going to have to pay for it, right? No, nobody wants to give free health care out. So they're, they're just, you know, kind of shooting themselves in the foot here, so to speak, I think. And I, I think it's, it's very poor care. And they really should. I mean, I, it doesn't, doesn't the Oregon health plan have some sort of advocates that you can get to help you with those types of things? I don't know because I haven't been through this before. But I'm assuming that there would be somebody that could help you, right? I'm going to wish Janet a happy birthday again before I get off here. She's 29 years old today. So everybody wish Janet a happy birthday. I hope she's having fun down there. Taking extra meds when traveling. I don't think I did, but I'm going to look. I'm going to see it. Always take extra just in case something happens and you can't get home. Yes, that's that's the other thing. That's true. What if you end up 
with just enough meds to get you through your six week vacation and there's an airline strike or your plane is delayed for three days, it happens a lot now, then what happens, right? You're stuck in an airport. You don't have a car because you're planning on flying back home and you don't have enough meds to make it through the problem that that the last place you want to have medical issues is in an airport i would think that that's not that's not an ideal place no place is an ideal place to have medical issues but the airport is certainly not good so that's a very good point cat very very good point i used to always make meds you made meds i don't know what that means i think you you missed. Always take an extra week. That's a good idea. Yep. Absolutely a great idea. You guys have some good points. And I'm sure you know that I I have forgotten a few key things, but I think for the most part, you know, just make sure you make a list. Make sure you have meds in the original containers. Make sure that if you're going out of the country that you know what the laws are in the destination country. Make sure you have enough meds. Make sure you have refills available if you need to refill. Um, oh, for Abby in case something happens. Yes. And you know, less than ideal things happen on vacation. You guys have all been there. You've, you've, you know what happens sometimes. You know, my, my biggest problem is just forgetting something. It seems like no matter how hard I try to remember everything that I need. I always forget something. It just never, and, and usually I can buy that something. You know, obviously if you forget underwear or something, it's pretty easy to go to the store in most places and buy it. But if I forget, you know, my lights or my cameras or my camera itself or something like that, I'm not going to buy an extra camera. And I'm kind of messed up for the, the whole trip if I plan on taking pictures. Now, I do make sure that I have the big things, but there's a lot of little things that go 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 along with, I mean, that I need like this thing, okay? This is a perfect example. This is just a, a little dock thing that, that hooks my computer up to another monitor. If I forget that, I might be able to find another one somewhere, but it'd be difficult to do. So plan ahead, everyone, plan ahead. So I'm going to be trying to do these lives at least twice a week. Did I forget? Yes, I did, Janet. I, I, you weren't in here when I said I did. I forgot my headphones. So I have these, which are good. The, these are my workout headphones that I use when I'm working out. And I can still use them, but the headphones that I plug in that I use to mix my videos. I forgot them. At least I haven't been able to find them. And I think I've looked everywhere. So yes, I did. And hopefully that's all I forgot. I remembered my, my supplements and I've got my camera and all this stuff that I want to take with me. But, but the fact that I'm on vacation now and I'm going someplace away from home, that's three hours away, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, if I had to, I could always come back. Right. But I know Janet told me I should have made lists and I, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I started doing it and then I just didn't and I will suffer from it. I'll tell you another funny story before I get off of here. I tried to cut a corner. I, I was doing a video and I, and I will finish it on statins and side effects and how to deal with the side effects of statins because I think that's an important topic. And I, I came up here and I set everything up. You can see the lights behind me and like the camera and everything was there. And for audio, I thought I'm just going to use my shotgun mic this time. I've been using a podcaster and, and plugging it directly in. And I, I just wanted to save some time. Well, what that ended up doing is causing me a lot more time because now it only came out of one side. I only, it didn't come out in stereo for some reason. So now I got to redo the entire video, which doesn't make me very happy, but that just, because I, the camera was set up for this and I didn't take the time to go in there and make sure everything was working before I did it. So 
that that's another thing. Make sure that you have everything set up correctly before you start doing something. So lists do help. And I was warned by a little birdie who just happens to have a birthday today. I won't mention any names that I should have made a list, but I didn't do it. So anyway, guys, thanks for coming in. Happy birthday, Janet. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm going to try to release the statin video later today. I've got to go to the store and do some stuff with Joshua today, but, but that's the plan. And I know, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point, Kat. That's a very good point. I, I'm learning. I'm learning that that's a very good idea for a lot of things. I am learning. So if you go to Hawaii next year, let's meet up. That'd be fun. Can I go? I want to go to Hawaii. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. This has been a fun one. It's always a lot more fun when you guys interact with me. I, I do enjoy it. So everybody have a wonderful day. Jan, have a great birthday. I hope everybody does something fun. Make sure to take care of yourself. Do something for yourself today and every day. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be health, healthy. Healthy. And don't forget to watch my videos. Bye, everyone. And subscribe if you enjoy.